Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Well, it looks like issue number 35 is about three or four weeks away. So, as we're not making any patches, I thought I'd take you on a trip down memory lane. I do get a lot of comments and messages from viewers asking me where do you get your floral motifs from. As you know, instead of the embroidery, I do add the floral motifs to my applique squares. Earlier last year, in episode number 14, we did address the issue and dedicated a whole episode to the floral motives. Take a look! Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today is all about the flower power. If you've been watching a few of the episodes by now, you know that I'm not going to be doing the embroidery components to the character squares. Um, I've opted to use the floral motifs, whether they be iron-on or sewing. I've had a few subscribers and viewers ask me, where do you get all these floral motifs from? Well, this is the episode for you. Let me take you to my favourite place for floral motives. So that was Darn Cheap Fabrics in Glen Hartley. They have got the best selection and I could spend hours in there. These are the goodies which I came back with. They're often about $18, $19, $20 a metre. Um, they are quite expensive some of them. So therefore I just buy a 20 centimetre length. You can buy 10 centimetre lengths to keep the costs down. Um, this haul here was about $20. I bought just 20 centimetre lengths. I usually cut all the flowers out individually before I place them on the character square to make the floral composition. So as you can see, there's lots of flowers in this 20 centimetre length. These less ornate flowers are $4 a metre. So for 20 centimetres, that's not much of a cost at all. And then there's other lengths like this, which was on the specials for $2 a metre. And you need to buy a metre, but that's fine. There's lots of flowers here. Another place where you'll find some floral motifs and borders is the um, Chapel Street Bazaar where there's an old store of all old world haberdasheries. They've got um, motives, trims, needles, threads, cottons, pins, you name it. They've got the lot. Here are some of the floral motives I found at the Chapel Street Bazaar. They do have a big range of vintage and older styles. These ones are iron-on flowers and these ones are trims which I can cut into smaller flowers and place on my squares. And if you want to search for flowers and motives in the comfort of your home, there's always good old eBay. They've got um, a, quite a selection there. They are a bit more pricier and you do have to usually pay for um, postage costs. But as you can see, I've got a nice little selection that will bring my character squares alive. So there's many places where you can go to find floral motifs and floral borders. 
if you're searching online it's good to write embroidered flowers um, these here are a great example of embroidered flowers when you iron these on they look exactly like an embroidery so if you're doing what I'm doing and ditching the embroidery and using the floral motifs drop us a line leave a comment below and let us know where you source your flowers from so I hope you enjoyed our flower power episode which was episode number 14 Although we're not making patches or squares, I look forward to seeing you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. See you next time. Bye.